Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my April Faves and Fails 2019 for you guys. Um, I love Faves and Fails and I can't believe another month has gone by. Where is the time going? It's May already, can you believe it? My daughter's graduating from college next week. Ah, oh, unbelievable. And my other daughter's turning 21, so time is really going by here. But anyway, I always think it's a fun video. It's more free form. I get to chat a little bit more, and they're always just so much fun to do. But I always start in makeup, so why don't we just go ahead and start in makeup. I tested about four different, uh, what are these things? Mascaras this month. Three of which came in PR, and one of which I purchased. So this is the one I bought. This is Maybelline Lash Sensational, and I got this one because I was in the store with my daughter, and I said, what's your favorite mascara? And she said, I love this one. So I gave that one a try. Then CoverGirl sent me a package with their Exhibitionist Mascara. Uh, Neutrogena sent their Hydro Boost Mascara. And then I got this cute little Genie Bottle Mascara from L'Oreal. I'm not even sure what this is called. Is it called L'Oreal Genie Bottle? No, it's called L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. And so if I had to rank them, I would say that the Unlimited is my favorite. Second favorite is the one that my daughter likes. Third favorite is the Neutrogena. And fourth is the CoverGirl. But none of them were a fail by any stretch of the imagination. They were all pretty good in their own way. So let me talk about the favorite one first. Now, when I first got this, I was like, oh, so big and clunky for a mascara you know I, I travel and I want them to be small and just fit in my thing but this really has a cool little feature which is that this bends and okay that seems like just the like weirdest silly little thing first I thought oh, that's just a silly gimmick but I actually like it I like that I can just like go from kind of under and push up on those little guys and it really does help I like the brush on it because I don't like the ones with like huge ton of bristles and that just is more like a rubbery kind of sparse bristle thing and they're not super long so they don't reach through my lashes to my eyelid I also like the color of this it's called black brown and I think it really is kind of a really nice blackish blackish brownish color so it's a lot less harsh than like super black um, and I really like it and it doesn't chip and it doesn't smudge and it doesn't dribble and it's not that hard to get off at night and you know it makes my lashes look nice you know I don't like those lashes that have a ton of clumps on them that are really spidery looking I like my lashes to look like bold but defined. All right, and then the second one, Maybelline Lash Sensational. This one didn't flake or smudge, and it also has a nice petite brush, but this one, the brush is curved. The one thing that I didn't love about this is that it's kind of a wet formula, and so when I would coat my lashes and then open my eyes, it would get a little bit of transfer onto my eyelid. And then the third one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Mascara, and I like how this one looked and I like the length and the volume that it gave but this one is also a very wet formula and on this one the brush is big and I could never manage to get this on without slopping it all over my lids and one of the good things about this see there's the brush one of the good things about this is that once you get it on your lashes it is staying put it doesn't like dribble down here and it doesn't flake and it doesn't chip and it doesn't smudge um, but if you do get it on your eyelid it's really hard to get it off there like most mascaras you just wait for it to dry and then you know brush it away with a q-tip or something this one no but it is staying on your lashes too so if you get it on in the right place it will stay looking great all day and then the covergirl exhibitionist one is the one that i really like didn't love because this one does make kind of a clumpy looking lash and i didn't really like that it really didn't chip or flake much and it was easy to remove but i just didn't like how my lashes looked as much with this guy as with the other three the other makeup that i have in front of me is the lippy that i'm wearing today and this is a christian audette lipstick this is the collab with lisa lisa d1 who's here on youtube and i didn't know lisa before the reward style conference but i just met her in april at the conference and she is the sweetest nicest person in real life and and we spent quite a bit of time together so here's Lisa this is kind of the package that the lipstick comes in uh, so it is two lipsticks and a lip liner for $68 the idea behind the collab is that it's nudes of summer she's very much known for her lips and for her lip selfies in the car and the nude lip is really her thing so anyway they, these are the two colors of the lipstick I think they're both beautiful and the shade of the lipstick that I really like 
a lot is Golden Tiger. So this is just a really pretty nude and I have it on today. So I just wanted to say congrats to Lisa on the collab and to let you guys know about it so that if these lipstick colors are like your perfect lipstick colors and you're looking for like a new brand that you haven't tried before that's really creamy and really nice feeling on the lips, you could give that a go. All right, so those were kind of the faves for this month. Now this next product is kind of a mixed bag. Um, it's a product that I picked up in last fall's Sephora sale. It's the Tarte Clay Play 2 palette and I don't have the Clay Play 1 so I'm not comparing it to that one and it has been kicking around here for like six months. When I first got it I just didn't understand it. I was like huh I bought this and I don't really get the colors because you know while it is just a beautiful array of like pretty neutral tones you know it's got your warm neutrals here and it's got your cool neutrals here and then it's got your peachy neutrals over here and I thought oh just perfect for like everyday makeup but it also is a full face palette so it's because it's got the bronzer blush and the highlighter and so I used it a couple of times but it didn't really have the perfect like mid to light shade of eyeshadow that I really need in every palette to do my transition color and it can't be too dark and it can't be too light and it can't have any shimmer so I'm looking for just like the perfect color and of the eyeshadows in here it didn't really have it so anyway a couple weeks ago I decided to pull this out and really try to use it and it suddenly occurred to me to use the bronzer as eyeshadow instead and see how that would go and oh my gosh I love the bronzer in here as bronzer but I also love it as eyeshadow. It is the perfect mid-tone matte color for that transition. It's not too dark, not too light, gives you the um, shadow that pulls that hood back and keeps it from <laughs> announcing itself to the world and then all these other shades I really love. So I've been using this a lot more and then the blush is really beautiful as well. It doesn't look like that much in the pan but it's really pretty on the skin and I'd say probably the weakest point in this palette is going to be the highlighter. I mean it definitely gives a nice looking highlight. It's definitely pretty but I think it's pretty chunky and pretty glittery but other than the highlighter I think the quality in this is really good and I think if you like just a straight neutral palette with lots of mattes and a few really pretty shimmers then this has got that all going on. All right let's move on to skincare. The first product I want to show you is this Paula's Choice Omega Plus Complex Moisturizer. So I did this video on the skincare oils as part of my anti-aging ingredient series and um, I took like a really hard look at the skincare oils because you know some of them claim that they have like um, natural retin-a in it and um, a lot of them say that they're like skin identical amino acids and stuff that your skin needs. Well anyway I found out that mm, that might be a little bit of a stretch but in researching that article I discovered this product which if you're into facial oils and if you have dry skin if you're looking for something that is actually going to have a bunch of oils in it so they will help to moisturize your skin. It also has ceramides and it also has those amino acids in it already broken out from the oils so that your skin can actually use them. I love skincare that multitasks. I hate having to buy like one product that has like one thing that I want in it. So I've been using this a lot at night and I really really like it. I'm using it in addition to because I found that my skin was getting a little bit dry sort of towards the end of winter there and if you want to take a look at that video I will link it right up here. And then a Paula's Choice product that I tried that I didn't love though is the Clinical Ceramide Enriched Firming Moisturizer. This one has the ceramides in it as well but I just didn't really love this one. It didn't really seem to hydrate my skin like this one does. I find this one very hydrating, very moisturizing. This one I felt like it just left my skin a little a little dull. It didn't really add anything and I much preferred my you know $15 CeraVe which has the ceramides to this which is a lot more expensive. So the other thing that oils are great for is washing your face, um, getting your makeup off, especially if you wear sunscreen, that really tenacious sunscreen that you can't seem to get off with anything. Oil really takes it off. So my first cleanse I always do with the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm and that is always a fave. But anyway I did try two new oil cleansers this month, one of which is the Hada Labo Super Hyaluronic Acid Cleansing Oil. I don't like it as much as I like the Clinique Balm and it really isn't a huge savings over the Clinique. Like this was $35, $33.90 something and the Clinique is $29 for uh, probably about the same amount. So I didn't feel like this was really, you know, saving me a ton. Oh, I can take that off, can't I? And it doesn't remove my like waterproof mascara or my waterproof eyeliner the same way that the Clinique does, uh, but it is pretty good. But the one thing I will say about this is that I've been using it for about two weeks now and I've noticed over the two weeks that I've had this like 
makeup colored film in the bottom of my sink. I have a, a white porcelain sink. It just made it so that I had to clean my sink more often. But I've never had that before where I noticed like a smudge of makeup in the bottom of my sink. So I don't feel like this rinses as cleanly as the Clinique one does because I feel like when I rinse that, it really does emulsify the oil and rinse the oil and all the makeup right down the drain. And I never have like a smudge of makeup in my sink and it was hard to get it off. So not a huge fave, but not a huge fail either. Um, the one that was an actual fail was this physician formula matcha oh the perfect matcha three-in-one melting cleansing balm so you know physicians formula is starting to come out with skincare and so I was like oh look a cleansing balm this is gonna be great so this is also no big bargain over the Clinique this is a lot less it's uh, 1.4 ounces and I think this was like $15 so by the time you triple the size of this to equal one of the Clinique you're way over the price of the Clinique so it's no bargain it's just such a strong fragrance and it has has a lot of botanicals in it and this one just really irritated my skin I think I snapped a pic on my phone I'll bring that in my face was bright red after I used this my eyes hurt so this one was a fail a perennial favorite that just sits on my counter all the time being there ready to serve me every single night but I rarely ever talk about it unless it's my skincare routine is this little guy this is my Tau Aura Orbital Facial Cleansing Brush so this is a spinning cleansing brush. I use this to do my second cleanse just to make sure I have all the makeup off. This little base is a sanitizing base. So it has a blue light and it has, I think a little fan in there or something. So there's not bacteria growing on it. So I really love that. And they came out with this really pretty rose gold color recently. So they have it in a new color and he's just so cute, like a little R2D2 sitting on my counter. And I love using this guy. And I do have a big discount code on this. I think it's like 50% off and I'll put the code right here and the link to Tao is in the information box below the video but that is always a fave okay so then hair care I did have the opportunity to try a new hair care product this month this is something that I received as a PR gift at the reward style conference this is the Colleen Rothschild quench and shine restorative mask and it also comes with the smooth and shine hair serum so this is actually a three-piece kit there's this cute little like hair plastic like hair brushing thing that you use in the shower to like work the conditioner through your hair and that's still upstairs in my shower but anyway you know I wasn't actually expecting to love these but oh my gosh it was absolutely love at first use and um <laughs> you know go figure like I get a lot of products at the reward style conference and I generally don't talk about most of them you know the shampoo and conditioner I use is the Briogeo superfoods and I really do like those and I am still using the shampoo because this didn't come with a shampoo but I swapped this in for the conditioner and oh my gosh I like this so much better than the Briogeo superfood conditioner and that is pretty good conditioner but this just after the first use made my hair into a whole different animal and I just love it it just behaves so much better and you know I can get a really good blowout with it and I don't have to use the curling one on and all this other stuff but you know what I really like about this like as much as I hate fragrance in my skincare I love a good fragrance for my hair care and I love it when my hair smells good it's like baby powder meets beautiful earth mother <laughs> right I don't even know how to say it like it reminds me of summer the 70s I don't know just something mm. I could just leave this open in my office and smell it all day. So I don't even use this as a mask. I use it as a regular conditioner. My hair is so ridiculously shiny. It is unbelievable. And then um, this product is just as good. I usually use three styling products to style my hair. And I said, well, let me try this all by itself and see if it's any good. Oh my gosh, so, so good. It's like an oil and it's got like a mixture of oils. And I think it has the same smell. Yeah, it has the exact same scent as is in the hair mask. And I just do like one pump of this is all it takes. Like this is so small, I was really worried because I was like, oh no, I'm going to be out too soon. But it only takes one pump. And one pump, I just run it from the ends, you know, all the way up to about my ears. And oh my gosh, I, I'm not using three styling products anymore. You know, how often do I really rave about something, especially that I get in PR? You guys know that I get... Oh my god a ridiculous amount of PR and you never see most of it because I really don't like most of it so anyway 
love, love, love these. And I think it's on sale right now. All right, so that is that. Everything else I have to show you today is clothes. <laughs> And that's because I did a lot of clothes this month. I went to the Reward Style Conference, which if those of you who follow me on Instagram, you got an eyeful of the Reward Style Conference. And then I did a spring lookbook. And so I'm going to show you some of my favorite things from those. This is the dress that I wore to the pool party at the Reward Style for the first night. And this is a fabulous dress. It's so pretty. I love the high neckline on here. You know, I feel like, especially since it was a like hot sunny day and I had just had my chest lasered, this was perfect for covering that up and keeping it out of the sun but it has a tiered skirt that is kind of a high low it's a midi dress so it goes below the knee and it just has the most beautiful flow and drape to the fabric if you want to see more like fashiony stuff from me you should probably follow me on Instagram and also follow me on the like to know it app so you can find me on Instagram and in the like to know it app by the same name Angie hot and flashy all one word and I would love it if you guys would follow me in one or both of those apps. So with this dress, I've already worn it once to that party. I'm going to be wearing this again the night before my daughter's graduation. We're all going out to dinner in Miami. So this is going to be a perfect go out to dinner in Miami dress. And then this is the shoe that I wore with it. This is going to be like my go-to shoe this summer. These are so comfortable and I love these jute espadrilles and you know it looks like a really high heel but because it has a platform in the front it's not actually that high. They're so comfy. I wore them all day. All right. And then from my lookbook, I got a new pair of jeans and what I love most about these jeans is how they made my butt look. So, you know, if you're older and your rear view is a little saggier than it used to be, these jeans will really like push everything right up into the the right position. I was like, wow, what a difference one pair of jeans can make. So anyway, these are Levi's and these are the perfect high waist jeans. And what's nice about them is they're not a super skinny leg. Like they're a wider leg. It's a, definitely a straight leg. I like the rips in the knees. I know some of you don't. So they also come in a non-ripped version, which I will link below. I think it's a darker wash than these though. But the bottom of the leg I love because it's, you know, it's got the released hem. So it's got the little tassels, but it's got this like little split right here. And so it just makes them really cool for the summer. So they're a crop. They don't go all the way down and they are going to be my go-to jean for the summer. Then a really great item from the lookbook that I love so much are these beautiful striped paper bag trousers. So they have the paper bag waist, but it's not like the paper bag that we had back in the 80s. It doesn't add a lot of bulk around the middle and with the stripes going up and down, these are very slimming and they make your legs look like they go on for miles. And the fabric on these is so beautiful. Like they just have such great flow to them and it's a nice wide leg and you know that pajama dressing thing is in and so you can dress those up or you can dress them down but what I like them with the best were <laughs> these like little slide sandals I just these just make me so happy um, I love the silver color I love these little what are these called these like studs on the sides and the silver and I love it that they're just an easy slide all right you guys so that is everything for my faves and fails for April time to get started on testing things in the month of May I got a lot more makeup because of course I bought a bunch of stuff in the Sephora sale so I'll have those tests for you coming up next month and you know who knows what else I'll try some skincare oh I have that inky list stuff coming in so as always everybody thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your time so have a great day and and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.